watch tonight, millions of people take probiotics to improve their digestive health. But researchers in Israel say taking these supplements may not help at all. And in some cases, they could actually be harmful. Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now. We've heard for years <laughs> that good health starts in the gut. So this is really disappointing news. And I'm a true believer that good okay. health begins in the gut. Yes, this is disappointing for many of us who sort of believe that a good microbiome is very important. But these were two small studies, so to keep that in mind, that found that taking standard probiotics that the probiotics probably don't stick around in the gut long enough to really do anything. And they found that if you take probiotics with antibiotics, that it can actually delay the return to normal gut health after taking the antibiotics. So again, this doesn't mean that probiotics are useless, but they're saying a one-size-fits-all probiotic for everyone may not be the way to go, that they may need to sort of individualize probiotics for each individual patient. That sounds expensive. It, I know it does, right? <laughs> okay. I will tell. This is an interesting story. Having conversations, conversations with your toddler may help your child years later. A study in the journal Pediatrics finds that having adult conversation with kids a year and a half to two years old leads to better language and cognitive skills once your kids get into school. Okay, this makes sense based on the kind of words you would use and the back and forth. Right, so that's the that's the key. Okay. Because, you know, most parents talk to their kids. Yes. They don't completely ignore them. <laughs> but it's that exchange. It's that back and forth, that sort of call and response that seems to make a difference. Not sort of giving them an order, eat your food, or a statement saying, you're a good boy, but actually engaging them in important and meaningful conversations. So these were researchers that recorded conversations of 146 babies and toddlers and adults. And they found that if the babies or if the toddlers engaged in this sort of what they call turn-taking conversation, that that led to better IQ scores, verbal and vocab scores when they became school age. Now, they say reading a book is a good way to sort of engage a toddler in a conversation, but there are some parents with low literacy. So they said it doesn't have to be a book. You could talk about a picture. You could make up a story. But they do warn that electronic screens can sort of be isolating and stifle good conversation. So just try not to sit your child in front of a you know, a tablet or a TV or whatever for too long. And this is the opposite of that, really, right? It's right. the interaction. Or watch something with them and then have a conversation about it. I like that. Excellent, doctor. Thank you. You're